Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. Looks like I have all these hairs that just go everywhere, but hey, that is my hair, and that is how it does. So, I got my other camera to work tonight, but I think I'm going to go back to the original one because this um, new cam 9 there's no way no. It's just not very good. Okay, Facebook has a much better, my phone has a much better camera than my computer does. But I may just have to buy me a, a camera for my computer. Okay, well that is not what I got on here to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about Psalm 31 tonight and so far I'm not led to read anything else but that can change sometimes when we're reading it reminds me of other scripture and I go well I want to read that too I've got my earbud in oh. Right, I bet you weren't hearing anything that I said, Facebook, because I had my earbud in, and I was uh, Bluetoothed. So, okay, well, Facebook, hey, pray and share, warriors. All right, so we are going to talk about Psalm 31. I'm going to read to you what I wrote on Facebook today that I did not pull up a while ago. Maybe I wasn't prepared to come in here. It's been a busy day today. But I got most of my busyness, my busyness done. So my cat was in here, but she took off. I thought my cat was going to be in here again. She was on my chair, but when I went in the bathroom to do my hair she decided that she was yes my hair looked a whole lot worse before I did it doesn't look great now but it is a great improvement of what it did look like all right well let's pray let's go to God and pray excuse me I just got through eating dinner I had to burp God, we just praise you and thank you for all that you are and for all that you do. We just pray, God, that um, we praise you because you are on your throne and you are in control and there is no God like you. God, we thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider, our shelter in the storm. We thank you for being our strength and our refuge. We thank you because you are mighty and magnificent and powerful. There is no God like you. You are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. But yet you are loving and kind and compassionate. You are trustworthy. You are faithful. And you are patient. You want none to perish, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their hearts and their minds and their ears, God, to the truth, and that the Holy Spirit would draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home. We just pray for them to remember the relationship that they had and to return and repent and to be reconciled. And God, we praise you today because our governor in our state is standing up against um, against what? Illegal mandates. And so we praise you for that. We pray. We pray for favor. We pray for favor for him and favor in his fight, God, as he stands up for us. We pray, God, for the other states. We pray that the governors would stand up to this illegal mandate. That's exactly what it is. It is putting people out of jobs. It is putting people on the street, God, and it is illegal. 
So we pray against that, and we pray for all truth to rise above all the lies that we have been told for the past two years, God. We pray for all truth to surface. We pray, God, for all the people that are in disaster right now. We just pray that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence, God, that the hands and feet of Jesus would meet their needs and the loving compassion of Jesus. God, we just lift up people that have lost loved ones. A sweet family, God, that I'm thinking of right now. I just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength and uh, that they would feel your presence, God. I pray for all the people that are sick that I'm thinking of right now. I just pray, God, that you would heal their bodies and that they would feel your presence in your healing. God, there's just so much going on. And I know you have a plan and purpose for everything, God, and that your timing is perfect, so we trust only you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, okay, I think I'm going to read what I wrote on Facebook first. I actually got this done this morning. I didn't even get one done yesterday at all. Okay, so this song and message is so beautiful and so true. And what is this called? No, Never Walk Alone. It's a new song that I haven't heard. And... Uh, is it by, it's by Bethel Music. No, it's by Hillsong. It's by Hillsong. Anyway, I encourage you to go and listen to it. It's really good. Uh, the lyrics are also listed. If you go and listen to the video, you can read the lyrics. Like, it's not a lyric video, but the lyrics are included in the, uh, in the video. So, um, like, not on the video like a lot of them are, but if you scroll down far enough, you'll find the lyrics. Okay. When we walk with God, we never walk alone. We don't. If we stay close to Jesus, he will go before us every step of the way. He has done that all my life. He will go every step of the way before you. Uh, if things seem impossible today, Cry out to Jesus. Get behind him and follow him. And does this sound too easy? It really is this easy. It really is. We must trust the only one God that has always been faithful. And that is so true. God has been so faithful in my life. I have been through a lot of things. I shared my testimony the other night, but it was just scratching the surface. It was just a a on the top thing i have so many things in my life that i could break down to be individual testimonies but not tonight um we will never walk alone when we walk with jesus that is so true i have found that in my life god has a plan and purpose for all of us he does he does have a plan and purpose for all of us he created us for a special calling to fulfill in his kingdom. And he did. Every one of us, every one of us children, we have a calling, a special calling that's unique for us, that God chose for us. We have to be willing to say yes and step into that calling. Uh, to fulfill his kingdom here and come, he has other things for us to do. When we get to heaven, Jesus is the only path to heaven in forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John three sixteen through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. That is how easy it is. We just go, Jesus, I am a sinner. Jesus, please forgive me. 
I believe that you are God's one and only son and that you came to save this world through your death, through your burial and your resurrection. Confess Jesus as your savior. Jesus, I invite you into my heart to be my savior and Lord of my life. Does that just sound too easy? Well, it is easy. It is easy. All right. Well, that is, that concludes that. I'm kind of through a little bit of salvation message in there, but I will uh, do a salvation message also. Okay. It looks like Psalm 31 is pretty long. Uh, it has a really, really short, a really, really short study part. Okay. I'm sorry. It says, The Lord, a fortress in adversity, to the chief mus musician, a psalm of David. So this is another psalm of David. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me into your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated those who regard useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye wastes away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors and am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. For I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side. While they take counsel together against me, they scheme to take away my life. So, I believe that this is what David is saying, that his enemies feel towards him. David had many enemies. Even one of his sons tried to kill him. So David had lots of enemies. But David was a warrior. And David defeated a lot of enemies too with God's help. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Wow, this is where we are right now. Exactly which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. That's what our enemy does right there. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you. Many times I've read trust. I've read trust. Um, what else have I read? 
that God is the rock and the fortress of defense. Lead me and guide me. Yes. In the presence of the sons of men, you shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. From the plots of man, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off before your, from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. O oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. So if we hope in the Lord, And be of good courage. He will strengthen our heart. So what my study part says about this. It says the psalmist cry for deliverance is based on God's faithfulness. The keynote of the psalm is the poet's faith and commitment to the Lord as he makes the Lord the overseer of his life. Jesus' last words from the cross included this prayer of faith. I read that. When I read that, I thought, wow, this is what Jesus said. Into your hand I commit my spirit. That's exactly what Jesus said on the cross. So I was wondering if the study part was going to say anything about that because I wasn't sure if I was right <laughs> and I wasn't going to say anything about it. But sometimes we doubt ourselves and we ought to just listen to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit was leading me to call that out. So I should have listened to him. Okay, is the Holy Spirit leading me to read anything else? Hmm. I don't think so. I can't even remember. I read my daily verse this morning, but I can't remember. Oh, it was Proverbs 3, I think. Let me see. Maybe we'll do Proverbs 3. I think it was Proverbs 3. I wish I would have done like a mirror of Psalms and Proverbs. Not that they're exactly the same, but sometimes they do say the same things. Okay, I read this this morning. Guidance for the young. I think we'll read it too. I think I am feeling led to read this. Then I got to get off of here. Okay. Whoops. Pencil wanted to roll off. Guidance for the young. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life, and peace they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, and so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Okay, now this is, this is also repeated somewhere else. And I'm not sure where it is. But I'll look for it. I'll try to find out. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father, the son in whom he delights. 
Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies and all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. Length of days is in her right hand, in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. And happy are all who retain her. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. By understanding he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the depths were broken up, and clouds dropped down the dew. My son, let them not depart from your eyes. Keep sound wisdom and direction, so they will be life to your soul and grace to your neck. Then you will walk safely in your way, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. Yes, you will lie down, and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is in the power of your hand to do so, do not say to your neighbor, come, go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it. When you have it with you, do not devise evil against your neighbor, for he dwells by you for safety's sake. Do not strive with a man without cause. For if he has done you no harm. Do not envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. For the perverse person is an abomination to the Lord. But his secret counsel is with the upright. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked. But he blesses the home of the just. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the legacy of fools. I really like Proverbs, and that's what I read this morning. That was my daily reading, and I was really trying to read it and concentrate on it. And I had so many distractions that I just came in my office and I read. I just wanted to drink my coffee and read. I didn't want distractions. I didn't want to hear the TV. So that is what I did. All right. Well, it is time for a salvation message. And I gave that one last night. Talk about trusting. No faith. Hell. This is a good one. I haven't done this one in a long time. All right. This is a million dollar bill. And no, there really aren't million dollar bills. Although they're talking about minting a trillion dollar coin out of platinum. But hey, to pay trillions of dollars worth of bills. Okay, well, this is a new United States. Okay, so this says, if you'll look at it, it looks a lot like a $100 bill. There's Benjamin Franklin. It's got the amount. It's got, it has, um, in God we trust. It has um, United States of America. It has, well, it doesn't, it has In God We Trust on the back. It has um, serial numbers. It has the blue strip down the middle. It has the seal, whatever seal that is. I don't have a $100 bill with me to compare it with, but it pretty much has a lot of the same things. It has the same markings. It has... But it's not real. It's not real. Okay? It's not real. And you cannot buy your way into heaven. It's a free gift from God 
offered through Jesus, through the sacrifice of Jesus. So you can't take this million dollar bill and buy your way into heaven. Okay. I'm sorry, YouTube people, that this camera is not as good and you can't see it as clearly, but I'm trying to do the best I can. Okay, then we, need, we have the back of it. And it does say, in God we trust, on the back. Uh, you see the, in God we trust. There's the United States of America on the back. Trying to get it to where YouTube can see, too. Even holding it up in front of my camera. Okay. Well, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Here is the million-dollar question. Will you go to heaven when you die? Here's a quick test. Well, this is also by livingwaters.com. I didn't make this. Um... Have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Jesus said, whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible place called hell. Sin separates us from God, but Jesus is the bridge. But God is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's law, and Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never fail you. He never will. You will never walk alone. You what is that noise? I'm sorry. I thought I was burning something on the stove, but I left it on warm. You will never walk alone. You will walk with Jesus for the rest of your life. Are you going to have hard times? Yes, you're going to have hard times. And that's when you draw closer to Jesus. That's when he will meet you in the valley when you're having a hard time. And he will lead you. He will take care of you. You will never walk alone. So if you want to accept Jesus as your Savior, let me just read this prayer. My child has come in here. He's ready to eat dinner. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner. Please forgive me. I believe that you are God's one and only Son that came to teach, heal, love, and forgive. You died on the cross for all sinners. You rose from the tomb on the third day. You ascended into heaven and you will come back to usher your church into heaven. I confess you as my Savior, inviting you into my heart to live and reign forever. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Please give me the strength to withstand the temptations in my life. Help me to praise and glorify you daily and help me to grow in my relationship with you daily through Bible study and prayer.
In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, well, if you said that prayer and you accepted Jesus into your heart as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, His Son. So do spend some time in the Bible every day. Read the Bible. Start in Matthew. Start reading about Jesus and what Jesus did for us and what he still does for us. And um, pray. Pray to God every day and praise. Find you some praise music so that you can praise God every day. And so I'm going to give you God's blessing in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. And I've got to get in there and take care of my child. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. All can use some peace. I'm going to pray us out. God, we just thank you for this time that we can learn more about your word, God. Please help us apply this word to our lives. Lead God and direct us. Please bless us, protect us, and provide for us. I just pray that for anyone that comes here and their families, that you would bless them abundantly. If they're sick, that you would heal their bodies. If they have loss, that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength. God, we just pray again for the lost. We just cry out for them. And we just pray, God, that you would give us the boldness to go out and share your, your truths and share the gospel of Jesus every day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, have an awesome rest of the night and an awesome tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I will not be here tomorrow night. I will be at youth. I will be helping with music and learning. I go and learn too. And uh, so I will be here on Thursday night, I believe. I have to go and do something on Thursday during the day, but I should be back way before time to do this. All right. Well, much love. I pray in share warriors and cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.